to part 3 of Black Desert Online, a casual play. Um, I've had an interesting two weeks and it left me quite a bit behind schedule, but I finally got to putting my snippets together again. Sorry about the delay. I did not have a lot of time to play the game at all, regardless we did manage to make some nice gains, which I am about to share with you all. Um, so what are you gonna see? This time you see me dabble around with alchemy stones. Um, I'm continuing to breed horses, of course with the goal to get a tier 8 courser, a bit of grinding, um, a boss hunt, some gear progression and as always some random loot box openings to see if R and Jesus heard our prayer. I always try to catch different facets of the game to give you an idea of the things that I do, but if there is something you'd like to see in particular, just let me know. You can uh, write a comment, send me an IM, maybe even text me in-game, it's all fine, you know. Don't be scared, reach out, get in touch, I would really appreciate it. Also, um, if any of you watched my last video, thank you, I really really appreciate that. Now, without further ado, I think it's time to get into what has been happening over the last few days, and I hope you enjoy. I have continued with my night vendor rolls, and as I promised last time, once we get to the next um, dandy, this is the one that I'm gonna pick. And as you can see from the video, we got super lucky, and we actually managed to get a dandy scythe for the sorceress, and even at a relatively good price, 170 something mil. Um, for some strange reason, the sound got corrupted when I made the recording, so I had to do a voiceover. But um, yeah, we grabbed it off the night vendor, got the dandy, and we also then went straight ahead into some enhancing. Unfortunately, that recording cut corrupted entirely, so you'll only see the last little bit of it in a second. I decided to uh, do a bit of crescent farming. Um, for some strange reason, again the same thing happened, the sound files got corrupted. I really don't know what happened this time with all the recordings. I did have some problem with my shadow play, but um, I just wanted to show you um, what I got from a really brief session one morning, just before I um, head out to go to work. And um, you see me on my wizard, so on my main. Uh, just going through, it was actually a really fun session. I think I did like half an hour in total or something. And I got contested twice in those 30 minutes, even though it was early in the morning. And it was actually the first time that I didn't die in one shot, which was absolutely amazing. So I loved it, which was nice. And as you could see, we also managed to get one crescent ring and uh, four soiled crescents. Um, and I'm carrying on here with a bit of my grind, just really the last couple of minutes before I'm trying to find my camel again, because for some strange reason I always get lost. So the note that we're running here is uninvested, so there's nothing special going on, no extra buff or anything like that. Um, I think we really just got lucky that one time. So I'll speed it up from here on to show you the rest of the grinding session and then I'll show you the rest from the soil drinks.
so I found my camel again which was yeah not that easy so I cut a little bit extra out but um, there it is what a beauty anyway so let's have a quick look what we get from our rings so one we already had from the grinding session and now quickly open those four and of course nothing so we are on a guild quest uh, for Fogans and as I was just about to reach my destination the uh, message came up that Nuba has actually spawned and believe it or not in my well more than one year of playing this game I have not once fought this boss so I decided to hit the record button turn back around and go and see if I can find him. I know that he is supposed to spawn somewhere here in the area. I have no clue. I'm literally just going by the image on the map. So I'm gonna look a little bit around, see if we can find him. If we can, then of course we're gonna join the fight. And I do hope that there will be some people because the last couple of times when I went to, what's the other one, Kutum. Uh, was really difficult because there's not always people and you just cannot take him down alone um, yeah so I'm just trying to gauge here where I roughly am but I should be close by so I'm just gonna continue searching again if we find him we'll definitely fight him if not I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go to Fogans and do the guild quest oh wait there's another person here. Yeah, surely they are looking for him as well. Okay, for the sake of the video, I will probably speed this up a little bit. Um, so I'm gonna stop talking here now. Hopefully we'll find him. Um, and yeah, hopefully we get some good loot from him. my word so that was more than 10 minutes of boss fight and of course nothing 
So there were a couple of really weird things. A, I could see Nuva's health bar. Uh, didn't even know that I had knowledge on him. Um, yeah, and I don't know, it felt like an eternity. Actually, the health bar didn't really go down to zero at the end. So I'm not sure if we just took too long. Oh, and I see other people are complaining as well that he never drops anything. Oh well, that was it. Our very first Nuva kill. This is another snippet where the sound got cut out completely. Nice. Um, what I was doing here is I got those three life stones off of the marketplace. And I always wanted to give this a go, really, because so far I've only used the ones that get dropped in... Um, what's it called? Kamasilf. Um, and since I picked up farming a while ago, I do have some strawberries, so I thought, ah, why not? Use the opportunity and give this a go. So I'm first testing how much gain I get from the blue ones and from the green ones. And... I bring the stone to about 82, 83%. I've read before that this is where you need to get them to be able to make an upgrade attempt. So this process here is called polishing. If any of you has never done this, so depending on what stone you have, you need to use different materials for the life stones. At least for the early stages, you need those uh, special it's not a seed, special crops. Anyway, so you can use sunflowers and stuff like that as well. I have strawberries, so I use strawberries. And um, once you've brought it with polishing to 80 plus percent, basically, you need, ah, see, I'm getting it here. You need a black weapon stone. And just one, technically. So you put the life stone in, or your alchemy stone, then you put the black stone in, you hit upgrade, and boom, first try. <laughs> no, that was just really lucky, but um, this is what you want to see. So you want to see the success message at the top of the screen. So this time it worked out. Um, you can see that the letters changed from white to green which I think is the first upgrade stage. So they can always change in color and then also in size, as you can see on the right hand side. The right hand side basically gives you an indicator of what the potential next stage could look like. Um, yeah, so if you're interested in seeing more like this, I have quite a few of those now lying around on characters in storage so give me a shout and maybe i'll do it again okay ladies and gentlemen we just made a huge gain and as always the recording didn't work properly neither the sound nor the video but at least i got this one now you can see it in the center of the screen yes we've made it we actually managed to make our first tier 8 into a courser um, this is my very first tier 8. I kept it, yeah, since I got it, and I got it from reading. So, what I did is, um, a few days back, there was this offer on the pearl shop where you got, like, a mount skill change coupon for, like, 10 pearls, and I still had quite a few. So I bought this one, and I attempted it, and it worked. I mean, I knew that my horse only needed one skill, which was Drift. So I used the skill change coupon, I prayed to the RNGs, and oh my god, here we go. So now it's time to go on the long and tedious journey to awaken our tier 8. That means we need a ton of material. Oh boy, but I don't want to think about it. This is just awesome. I'm really happy, and I just wanted to share it with you. Alright, late summer night boxes. I know you guys like a good box opening, so I thought I'll take the last ones just before the event ends. Go through all of them, we'll speed it up as always, hopefully we get something good. I'll see you shortly.
anyone remember the result from last time? Yeah, me too. Literally the same. A couple of salts, uh, Max Cry and Cronstone. And of course, nothing else. Thank you for watching. Thank you, ladies and gents, boys and girls. You've made it to the end of today's video. This episode was slightly shorter due to the facts mentioned earlier, and we did have some technical difficulties this time around, so I want to apologize for that. Nevertheless, I do hope you enjoyed the content, maybe you saw something that you will now do in-game as well. If you do have any tips and tricks, suggestions, or maybe any requests, just leave a comment below or simply send me a message and I'll see what I can do. I will try my best to get back to schedule and have a new video every week, but as always this will depend on how much time I actually get to spend on the game. Um, before I let you go today, there is one small teaser that I wanted to share. Some of you may have noticed that I collected and kept all my Shikato boxes and a few other things. I do plan on opening them soon and I will of course share the content with you guys. Uh, whether this will be on the next episode of a casual play or whether I make a separate video for that, I am not sure yet, but it will definitely be on YouTube. Um, I do hope that I will see you again and that you continue to enjoy the game and the content I create from it. Thank you for watching today's episode. Bye, Internet.